Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's the girl Adana, L-A-D-O-N-N-A, -N -N and I am back with another video. I do want to apologize for not uploading anything last week. Technology just wasn't on my side, so I am so sorry for that. Um, but I am back like I never left. And for today's video, I am going to be telling you guys about that one time my friends were ready to whoop some tush for me. But before I get into that video, I do want to say thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I know you could be doing anything else with your time, but here you are watching my video. And for that, I am super appreciative and super thankful. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you click that subscribe button. You like, you comment, you share, you turn on your notification bell so you can know every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get right into the story time. So, this all started maybe five, six years ago. You know, I was in a very toxic relationship. And no, I am not trying to like, you know, make anyone look a type of way. I am just saying it was toxic. Both and both of our side, it was just a toxic environment, a toxic relationship. So yeah, we were both mentally checked out. We were just physically like living together, like, you know, in a relationship just for being in a relationship. But we both knew that we were done with each other. Uh, and so <laughs> I did something that's not very nice. I, um, I... Yeah, I know, you didn't hear me, right? Okay, hold up. <clears throat> I cheated, okay? I cheated on my partner, and um, I know, it wasn't a nice thing to do, but it happened. Like, we all made mistakes. Get over it, okay? Anyway, so I did that. A situation happened, and she found out somehow. I don't remember how she found out, but she found out. So she knew exactly, oh, by the way, I cheated and ended up with Raquel, my fiance now. So, you know, it kind of worked out. And no, I'm not condoning that. I'm just saying... Sometimes it works out for the better. Um, also, speaking of Raquel, she is in the background um, because she kind of has a better recollection of this story than I do. Um, so if you hear her voice in the background, it's just because she's trying to fill in the gaps of the story that I really don't remember. Um, so yeah, so my, my ex at that time, let's just call her T, she had done some investigation so she knew who Raquel was, the color of her car, the sound her car made, all that extra stuff. Um, and so this one day Raquel was dropping me home and Raquel never dropped me like home home She would drop me to the convenience store by our house. So Raquel dropped me at the convenience store and um, Just to give you guys an idea of this the the vicinity of the area So it was my apartment complex the convenience store and then my friend's apartment complex was like right behind the convenience store um, and Raquel had already met these this group of friends um, so I went into the convenience store to get whatever, and on my way out, like from the convenience store, I saw T draping Raquel out of the car. And when I tell you, she went from zero, not Raquel, T went from zero to 100 real quick. So she's there doing her thing, and like I'm trying to like separate it, but Raquel was like, nah, let her do her thing, let her get it out of her system. Obviously, she's upset. And Raquel is very understanding, because um, if she really wanted to, she would like smash T head off okay so but she let it she let her get get it out of her system and then when i saw it just going on too long i tried to pull them apart well not them i tried to pull t off of raquel um and so i got her off somehow and i'm like i told raquel i'm like yo like i'm just gonna take her home okay like i'll be right back i'm just gonna take her home so as i'm walking from the convenience store with t going back to our apartment complex i'm guessing i think raquel told me that at this point she had called um, my friend Marissa and her sisters and like they came I think they had a couple other people with them I don't recall like I wasn't there I'm just going based on what Raquel told me but anyhow she made a call and like this group of friends came to the convenience store um, and they were waiting with Raquel for me after I finished drop tea off but TV and T if you met T you know so TV and T wasn't having it so before we can even make it in the lobby of the apartment complex she bolted like you saying bolt bolted like shorty bolted from the apartment complex back to the convenience store and as she's running into the parking lot of the convenience store she went to hey raquel okay like she went in for the cake and raquel started coming and she like kind of like dodged out of the way and as she did this, T obviously fell to the floor because she came in with a force. So she like fell to the floor because she missed her target. And as she fell to the floor, Raquel was like, you know what, bro? Like, I allowed you earlier to take it up, get it out of your system, but now you're just pushing it. So Raquel just went down to her level on the floor. I'm not going to 
Yeah. You did not go down to her level? Um, what happened? I got up and then tried to launch again, so I just pulled her down to the floor. So apparently she got up and tried to like launch again at Raquel, and Raquel just like just threw her down to the floor. And as T is on the floor, Raquel just need the girl, okay? She just took her knee and like put it on the girl's neck, okay? And um, her, uh, my friend Marissa was like, yo, like Kelly, because she called her, she's like, Kelly style, like, you're gonna like, kill her or whatever, whatever. And that, that's where Raquel was just like over it. So when she heard like uh, Marissa saying, yeah, yo, like get up over her, you're gonna kill her. She got up. And again, I tried to take T back to her apartment. So I'm telling Marissa and like Raquel, I'm like, you're like, you know, I'm just gonna take her back upstairs, whatever, um, and then we'll come back to you guys. So then T, I guess T, <laughs> she saw her life flash before her eyes. So she's like, mm -mm, it's not worth it. I'm just gonna go upstairs. <laughs> so we went upstairs and we're in the house. And obviously me and her are going back and forth, like arguing. And I'm like, okay, you know what? Like I'm gonna leave. And as I'm trying to leave, she prevented me from leaving. So I call her kind of like, yo, can you guys come up? And like, I'm not, like, she's not trying to let me leave. So when they came up, the door was locked. And they're like kicking down the door and like knocking on the door trying to get me out. But T was not budging. Like, she wasn't allowing me to leave. And I guess you could hear me crying in the background because T, like, we were, I think we even got physical at that point too. Yeah, you were so right. they, she had to let you go. Let you go. Yeah, I remember, like, I was trying to tell her, like, let me go because, like, we definitely got physical. So, like, they heard it and they were trying to like, get me out of that place. Let me just tell you guys also, my friends came with sneakers. They came ready for war and anyhow they had gotten a grip of tea, it was a done deal, okay? So they're kicking and knocking and kicking and knocking and tea just wasn't letting me go. So I think eventually they made the decision like, yo, this girl is not letting Luna go, let's just call the police. So they called the police, the police came and obviously T had let to, to <laughs> T had to let me go. It's either she let me go or she ended up in jail. So she let me out the house. Next day, whatever, she packed her shit and she left. But the point of this story is, first of all, my friends were ready to ride. Raquel was ready to ride. I mean, Raquel wasn't even in a full relationship yet. My friends came with their ganja, high, <laughs> high sneakers on, and they were ready to go to war. And I'm so thankful to this day that T did not open that door because if she did, we would have been going to a funeral. And there was no, actually, maybe not a funeral, maybe like to the hospital to visit her because she probably would have been like bust up, bruised up. But I'm so thankful that she did not open that door. And I'm so thankful for my friends because even up to today, guys, like these group of friends, I know they would ride for me anytime. But it all happened so fast. I feel like me telling this story is not really capturing how intense the moment was. But it was extremely intense like if you can put yourself in my situation then like you can see how this all just was like super intense um but yeah so thank god she didn't open the door because they would have been in jail and she would have been in the hospital so yeah anyway that is just a quick little story time um let me know if you guys enjoyed that if you did like comment subscribe turn on your notification bell so you can hear more story time from me again um, and in the meantime, between time, stay locked. Let me know. Honestly, let me know what you guys want me to do. If you guys want to hear more story times, pranks, tricks, tricks, whatever. Let me know. Get. Let me know what you guys want to see. And uh, until next time, I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Baby, you want to say bye? Bye. <laughs> bye.